could go on Armstrong as many times as they wanted a day. Lah. But uh, later, because more monks came in, uh, and many of them were careless, uh, then the Buddha started to make more and more precepts. Lah. Uh, and then, uh, so finally the Buddha said uh, the monks should eat one meal a day. Lah. But there were some monks who were not happy. Lah. They complained to the Buddha, and then the Buddha said, okay, lah. You can only go on arms round once a day. La. And after coming back from arms round, you take your main meal. La. But uh, if you want, you can leave some food uh, to eat later. La. But uh, as long as it's not past noon. La. In Malaysia, noon is about 1, 8, 1 p.m. La. So, in other words, the Buddha is saying uh, we can eat two meals, la, breakfast and lunch, la, uh, which is generally the standard. La. So, uh, the Buddha said also that we practice uh, that we should know moderation in eating, uh, not eat too much. Uh, so, uh, we should, if possible, uh, we should try to everybody eat at the same time, uh, breakfast and uh, eat lunch at the same time, uh, because uh, it's not nice, uh, not doesn't look nice uh, if somebody wants to eat at his own sweet time. Uh, because it's a monastery, yeah? it's not a household, yeah? it's a monastery, it's a disciplined place yeah? and everybody uh, trains himself yeah? uh, in the, in the, in the uh, spiritual uh, discipline. Yeah? Uh, so there are certain allowables yeah? that, uh, uh, that are allowed in yeah? afternoon, yeah? Uh, like herbs, uh, dark chocolate, uh, olive, uh, uh, this uh, ginger, uh, tea, coffee and all that, lah. and even uh, uh, cheese lah, in the Thai tradition. But then you should know uh, that these things are uh, generally for us, uh, like our monastery, uh, uh, disciplined monasteries, uh, we don't simply buy some of these things uh, as and when we like. Lah. We generally depend on donations. Lah. So if people give us uh, uh, dark chocolate, we eat dark chocolate. Lah. If people give us prunes, we, give, we eat prunes. Lah. And uh, generally we don't buy these things lah, unless we feel lah, it's really necessary. Lah. Uh, so uh, you have to bear this in mind uh, when we take out certain things uh, supposed to like last for some time uh, don't uh, gobble them up uh, in one one day like that uh, uh. also have to think uh, that uh, it's meant for everybody in the monastery uh, and uh, don't uh, take too much uh, other people uh, don't have enough uh, uh. so that is practicing moderation uh, uh. Because uh, you have to understand, uh, according to the Buddha's teachings, uh, that um, our mind uh, is the forerunner of all states. You know, our mind is the forerunner of all states. If your mind uh, is trained, uh, disciplined, uh, then uh, your feelings and all that uh, come uh, according to your mind. In other words. Uh, if you think uh, you're constantly hungry, uh, it's because your mind thinks so. Uh. If your mind is weak, uh, and you, you think uh, you cannot stand, uh, and uh, so it, it, it follows uh, that you, you feel more hungry than other people. Uh, because uh, just like when you want to strive hard, uh, uh, you strive hard. A person who is more disciplined, uh, because he makes a determination, uh, and then uh, he's able to do it. Uh. But if a person does uh, starts uh, with the mind half-hearted, uh, half-hearted, uh, then uh, uh, when a little bit of obstacles come, uh, you give up already. Uh, so you know, always remember that uh, we have to be very clear that the mind uh, de determines the, the world we live in, uh, determines the conditions. Uh. For example, if a person uh, is always craving for, for example, a person is always craving for drugs, uh, he's a drug addict. Uh. Mm -hmm. It's very natural uh, that he always feels hungry uh, because he's always craving for that, uh, hungry for that drug. Uh. So the moment he dies, uh, he will be reborn as a hungry ghost uh, because his mind has conditioned him. 
I personally know of one or two persons. Uh, even now, uh, they have not died. Uh, they are already behaving a bit like a hungry ghost uh, because they were drug addicts before. Uh. When they eat, uh, they gorge themselves uh, as much as they can. Uh. They eat two or three persons' share. You know? They can eat as many, as much as two or three persons. After five or ten minutes, uh, they vomit out everything. Vomit out everything. And then, uh, after that, of course, they feel hungry again. Uh, after two hours or so, uh, three hours, uh, they'll eat uh, like a hungry ghost. Uh, eat uh, two or three persons' uh, amount. Uh, then, ten minutes later, uh, they vomit out everything again. Uh, so it already shows uh, they are already going to be like that, uh, going to be a hungry ghost already. Uh, so we have to be very clear uh, that we have to train our mind to be strong. If you don't train your mind to be strong, uh, then uh, you will never be strong uh, because you never make the, 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 the determination. That's why the volition, uh, always the Buddha mentioned volition is very important. Uh, your determination is your volition. Hmm. Yeah, when hang. Cannot uh, if in this monastery, uh, all lay people, uh, uh, all lay people are supposed to keep the eight precept. Uh. If you keep the eight precept, uh, you are you're not allowed to eat ordinary food uh, after one. Oh, in the house. In the house, it depends whether you are keeping eight precepts or not. If you are keeping eight precepts, you are not allowed to eat no, after one. Huh? If you are keeping the eight precepts, no, you cannot say, oh, I uh, am keeping eight precepts, uh, two meals is allowed, so I take breakfast and dinner. No, no, no. Uh, eight precepts means, uh, you only eat uh, in the morning, after the sun comes up, that means after 7 a.m. And up to the sun, when the sun is the highest, uh, 1 o'clock or 1 something. Mm. Always remember, uh, like that day we read in the suttas, uh, unless you become an Arya, uh, like you take monastery, monastery food also is on credit card. <laughs> Can we transfer my ring? Huh?